Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. I am Bridge Fushan Misa. I am making a series of videos on garbage collector and this is second part of the series. I will advise you to watch the first part of the series and then continue watching this video. So in this video, we will see that how garbage collector works. One of the scenarios when garbage collector starts, when we try to create an object and required space is not available in the managed heap. So to get the space, it does the collection process. The garbage collector check the objects that are no longer in use and reclaim the memory of those objects. But how does it happen? Every application has a set of roots. Roots has reference to storage locations which point the object on the managed heap or set to null. All the global and static objects are referenced by application roots. Local values and parameters are also part of application roots. CPU registers that contain the pointers of the objects are also available in application roots. When GC starts running, it initially assumes that all the objects in managed heap are garbage. Now GC starts walking through the roots to all the reachable objects and build a graph like structure. Once a root is complete, then it picks up the next root and does the same. This step continues till all the roots traversed. While traversing through the roots, if it reaches to an object that already got traversed, then it stops there and picks up another reference from the root. Using it, it removes the duplicity and any possible circular traversing of objects. Here, Whole graph like structure got created. First contains A and E, second contains E, H, J, third and fourth has only one element B and K. Now the GC got a list of objects that are reachable by roots, so rest considered as garbage. So in our example, objects A, B, D, E, H, J, K, are reachable which are blue and others C, F, G, I, K grade ones are considered as garbage. Now garbage collector moves linearly and find all the objects that are not used anymore. It frees up the memory taken by those objects. Then it shifts the non garbage objects down in memory and set the next pointer accordingly. After shifting the objects, it also updates the reference of all the shifted objects at every location where it has reference. Now you must have got an idea that garbage collection is a very complex process. It requires lots of resources and had bad impact on performance if it is not done judicially. That's why .NET gives very limited access on garbage collection process to the developers and the full control lies to CLR only. To connect me, you can go and subscribe my blog codewala.net, follow me on Twitter at code underscore walla, you can also jot down my mail id. Thank you for taking your time to watch this video.